Just imagine, while studying in the library, you see a girl dressed as a bunny, which is only seen by you. Thus, the two become friends and begin to fall in love with each other, in search of reversing this mysterious situation. I'm Lancelot and in today's anime recap we'll watch Bunny Girl. The story begins with the protagonist Sakuta in the school library, until a girl passes by him dressed as a naughty bunny and, amazingly, only he can see her. Her name is Mai and she is one year older than him, moreover, she was a famous actress in her childhood, which suddenly stopped her career. The next day, going to school, the protagonist talks to Yuma, his best friend, about the girl being always alone. His friend says he is happy to see Sakuta getting interested in another girl besides Makinohara Shoko. Until his girlfriend, who doesn't seem to like the protagonist, appears and pulls him to walk with her. He found out that Mai barely showed up at school since the beginning of first year because of work. Which also explains the reason for being isolated like that, because the groups have already been formed and she didn't fit into them. While eating bread, her friend's girlfriend went to talk to him, telling the protagonist to stop talking to Yuma. Well, Sakuta was involved in an incident, which made people turn away from him and with that his boyfriend may lose his popularity. However, the protagonist doesn't give a shit about her, asking if the girl was this angry because of PMS. Returning home, while at the train station, a couple tried to take pictures of Mai without her permission, however, getting in front of Sakuta stopped them. And seeing what he did, the girl thanked him and inside the train they talked about what happened the day before. But she doesn't want to talk about it and cites the incident where he sent three colleagues to the hospital. She found this out by searching with her cell phone and asking him if he had never seen such news, Sakuta says no, as he does not own a cell phone. Mai says he shouldn't have friends, but the protagonist quickly replies that he has two, saying that's more than enough. Returning to the previous subject, the girl talks about her explosive success when she was younger and that at first it was fun, but the more time passed, the more tiring it got. Making her want to live in a world where no one knew who she was and one day, when she went to an aquarium, she realized that she had become some kind of ghost. Yeah, people couldn't see her or hear her, but on returning home everything was back to normal. So, she went out and investigated, which explains the bunny outfit, since dressed like that she would be noticed. As they walked together, the mysterious phenomenon started to happen again, with her needing the protagonist to buy a cream bun. Leaving the station, the protagonist says that this crazy story could be called adolescence syndrome. Where several unexplained things start to happen and are usually called that. He and Mai enter his house and in his room, Sakuda takes off his shirt, showing a giant scar on his chest, which even he doesn't know how it happened. Showing a picture of his injured sister, the protagonist says that she wasn't attacked or anything like that. Just got bullied on the internet, her class leader started hating her and posted several insults in a group on a social network. Until one day, without any explanation, several wounds began to appear on her body, so now she studies at home. Also, that same time was when this wound happened on her chest, one day when she woke up, he was covered in blood and was taken to the hospital. Kaide, his sister, enters the room, getting embarrassed by the situation and leaving. Staying away from the internet made their situation better and that's why the protagonist threw his cell phone into the sea. Sakuta says that she should go back to the art world, because if she gets attention on TV, people won't be able to ignore her anymore. However, because he insinuated that deep down she wanted to be an actress again, Mai gets annoyed and leaves. At school, when searching for her name on the internet, he could not find the reason for the girl to have paused her career, however, he did not find the real reason. At work, he met Fumika, a reporter he already knew. She did stories about what happened to the protagonist in the past. And there at the restaurant, she asked again to talk about this story and take a picture of her chest. However, ignoring this, Sakuta asks what she knows about Mai. The scene cuts and we see him talking to Ryo, his other friend, who is very intelligent and that's why he asks about Mai's situation. Returning home with a cream bun, he sees Mai sitting in the doorway of his house, complaining that more people have stopped seeing her. Because of this, she has not been able to buy things to eat, so he goes to the market to help her. 
where they test a theory, because, when touching a carrot, it makes the vegetable disappear too, however, trying to do the same with the protagonist, it does not happen. Returning home, Sakuda demonstrates that he knows why she stopped acting and for throwing what happened in her face gets a slap in the face. When he was in elementary school, his mother, who was his manager, only thought of ways to make money off her daughter. So, against her will, she made Mai pose for a bikini photo shoot. However, Sakuda encourages her, as he knows that she enjoys working in the art world and shouldn't let her douchebag mother ruin that. Asking who told him this, Mai discovers that he let the reporter take a picture of her chest for the information. So, worried about several people making his and Kaide's lives hell with the TV behind them, Mai calls the reporter and in exchange for not putting the image on TV, promises a big exclusive news about her career return. Returning home, we discover that she lives in the building next to his and they have arranged to go out together on Sunday. The day has arrived and going to the marked place, Sakuda sees a child crying and when trying to help him, he is kicked in the ass. However, after the girl who made it understood that she was wrong, she told him to do the same, which without any regret did the same as her. But because a guard saw this, he took the two to lecture them and running late he found Mai and together they took the train. Where Mai asks about their parents and he explains that they are separated and her mother couldn't stand what Kaide was going through, getting sick and having to be taken care of by his father, leaving the two of them to live alone. The protagonist reveals that only one person believed in him, her name is Makinohara Shoko, he met her when he was in the ninth grade and she was in the second year of high school. Wearing the uniform of the school they attend today, however, no matter how hard he looked, he couldn't find her in the school's records. Suddenly, something strange happens, Mai's mother appears. The protagonist argues with the woman, getting very angry that even she has forgotten her beloved, but very sad about this situation, Mai stops him. After that, he started asking several people if they knew Mai, but even the reporter didn't remember her anymore. She intended to give up everything and accepted that everyone would not remember her anymore, however, the protagonist revealed that he loves her and that he will not surrender. So, together they sleep in a hotel room and while she is taking a shower, he calls her friend, who says he remembers Mai. And also calling Ryo, he explains the situation and asks her to find a solution, which he says is impossible, but he would try. They sleep in the same bed, where the protagonist promises that he will never forget her and Mai thanks him for telling her not to give up. The next morning, again people couldn't see her and at school we saw that only he and Ryo could. In the laboratory, she asks if he slept that night and they realize that neither of them did that, which could be the reason they still remember Mai and come to the conclusion that if they sleep, they also forgot about her. The next day they talk about it again and the protagonist does everything not to sleep, filling himself with coffee and energy drinks. When talking to Ryo after a few days, he realizes that the girl slept and doesn't remember anymore. Seeing the state that Sakuda was in, Mai decided to act and went to his house with the pretext of helping him study for the exams. But by putting some medicine in his drink, she puts the protagonist to sleep. The next day, he wakes up no longer remembering her and when reading her diary, he realizes that there was a name erased in it. At school, Ryo found a note in the middle of his books, with a note telling him to deliver it to Sakuda. Which says that her disappearance is based on the unconscious ignorance of the students, so it was enough to create a reason for existence that overcomes this, that is, to make his love overcome the ignorance of the students of the school. So, taking a test, he remembers everything and runs as fast as he can outside the school. There, he shouts for all to hear that he loves Mai and wants to be with her forever. In addition to all this statement, she appears saying that no one should speak ill of him, because everything that had happened in the past was a lie. So, with the power of his love, the protagonist managed to make Mai again seen and remembered by everyone. The 27th of June arrived, when he left his room he saw on the news that the Japanese team had won a match. At school, he had lunch with Mai, who ignored his dating request and talked about a new role he will have in a soap opera involving a kissing scene. He got jealous and she revealed it to be a lie and, insisting a little more, she accepted to be the protagonist's girlfriend. However, the next day, when he woke up very happy, 
he saw the same news about football in the newspaper and that it was June 27th again. Well guys, this was the first part of the first season of Bunny Girl, if you liked the video and want me to bring part 2, leave a like, hope all is well with you, until next time.